In this video, I'm gonna show you the perfect way to create techno music from scratch. Let's go. So we're gonna start off with creating the low end for the kick, rumble and bass. Let's start off with a kick, pick a kick from our new bunker to a sample pack. So let's head over to the kick section and go for the first one. Just drop it in like this. Then we're gonna create a rumble with a kick, run it to a new mixer channel and create a send channel. So pick a free mixer channel, duck it to the right and run the kick drum to it, giving us a double kick channel. So for this one, we're only gonna use a wet reverb on it. Most of the time in techno rumbles, you wanna use a convolver reverb. Just pick a reverb preset, for example this one. Remove the dry signal, hitting it with compression. Make the low end mono. You can see it's moving all over the place, so it's a necessary thing to do. And then EQ it. Contains way too much high end. So EQ it like this. It also lacking quite a lot of real sub ends, so let's drop in an R bass to create some more sub harmonics. So do it together with the EQ. You can see we're adding a lot of sub ends and create an offbeat bass with it. So there we have our rumble foundation. And to make it a little bit more interesting, we're also gonna layer it with a bass preset. I'm just drop in a new serum and pick a preset from the pack. Let's use this running bass preset. And I think I want to work in F minor, so... Drop in a MIDI like this. Just a typical running bass MIDI. Yeah, that's solid. But it's a little bit too dull right now, so... Let's combine it with another sound from the pack. I want to use the sound with a bit more top end. So just use this saw plug and drop it down to octaves. And just copy over the MIDI. Yeah, that's way better. Really filling out that high end in the sound. So then just mix it. Remove the pure sub end to make room for the rumble. So together with the rumble, it sounds like this. And yeah, it's really solid low end foundation. Now I want to glue them all together on a bus channel. So create a low end bus channel and route our rumble to it. The main bass and a kick drum. And then we can glue it together with some compression. Leave some attack open for the kick drum and look for around minus four decibels of compression. That will be our low end of the techno track. Now we're quickly, quickly gonna arrange it, make room for a fill right here, have a breakdown right there, and an intro with with only the kick. I want to create a low cut animation on the master channel, so we have no low ends in the breakdown. Drop it right here. So that's it for the low ends. Now we're gonna continue with the screech sounds. We got a low end ready, so now we're gonna dive in the synth part. We're up in a new serum. The first synth we're gonna use is a screech sound. Typical for the techno style right now. So let's use this one. And start off on the root notes. You're working in F minor, so... Right here. I make a MIDI like this and duplicate it. So now I'm gonna quickly deconstruct the screech sound. We're starting off with a saw wave. With an envelope one right to the detune and the pitch, giving this pitching sound. Then unison all the way up, making it detune. Then drop in the monster wave table with FM around here. Adding some crunch to it, then clean it up in the low end. Loads of distortion, compression, reverb, and delay. Then we're gonna mix it. First, some more reverb. Open it up with the OTT. This will also bring out the reverb some more. Bit of delay. Fresh air to open up the high ends. And of course, a side chain to make room for the kick we already have. Sounding like this. Yeah, that's solid. Well, it misses something when the drop hits. Drop in a new serum and pick a preset. Let's use this one. And just drop in a steady note. Like this. Which is cool, but we need to make it more interesting. 
so we're gonna outplay the pitch fans. Just like this. And then we're gonna mix it. It's a bit too much low end in it, so. Just like this, together with the side chain. So together with the kick and bass, it sounds like this. Yeah, it really works well. So that's it for the lead sounds. So now we're gonna dive into the drums in the second part of the drop. First, just duplicate the first part and then drop in the drums right here. So we're gonna start off with a head loop. I think this one works quite well with the rumble bass. And just lower our volume a little bit. The offbeat head is a little bit too weak, so... I want to layer it. Even the drums in the second part of the drop. First, just duplicate the... Uh, yeah, that's better. Again, just duplicate it. So we're gonna start off with a head loop and drop in a clap. We're gonna go for this short one. It's quite well with the rumble bass. Just like this. Then we're gonna create some drum fills. So make it a bit more interesting. It's a little bit too weak, so... I want to layer it. Sounds a bit weird right now, but we're gonna drown the clap in a lot of reverb. Just like this, drag back the volume. And it would be dope to pan them. Give it some more depth, short one. And play around with the placing. So that's it for the drums. Now we're gonna make it more interesting with some vocals and effects. Sounds a bit weird right now, but we're gonna drown the clap in a lot of reverb. Just like this, drag back the volume. And it would be dope to pan them. Give it some more depth. And play around with the placing. So that's it for the drums. Now we're gonna make it more interesting with some vocals and effects. Let's go, let's go. So now we're gonna continue with the vocal. We're gonna pick one from our new bunker pack. Let's head over to the vocal session. Neon lights flash. You've got to believe in something. Rhythms collide. Let's Rhythms use collide. this one. Just wrap it in. Rhythms collide. A thrilling height. And mix it in. Because it's playing together with the kick. Rhythms collide. Need a side chain. Thrilling height. Boost a little bit of the high end. Use a soup on it. To remove these harsh frequencies. And lower down the volume a little bit. Thrilling height. Thrilling height. Uh, then I want to use a pre-drop fill as well, so. Come on. Ecstasy. Power. Let's let's go. Let's go. Drop it in. We're ready to unite. Let's go. Let's go. The same volume. And then let's we can go. use the let's delay go. till as well to Fill up the track some more, use it as a sort of ambience. Go. Something Let's like go. this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We can use this one after 8 bars as well. Let's go. Right Let's here. Go. Let's go. Yeah, that's solid. Now we're gonna fill it up with some FX. I'm quickly gonna grab some from the pack. So I just dropped in a few FX. The downlifter. Another one. Then reverse it to create an uplifter. To get a more cohesive sound. I also reversed the clap sound and dropped in a lot of reverb and it's spent to the right as well to add some more depth to it and then to create some more movement in the track I also added in this macro automation on the bass line letting it slightly open up so that's how you make a techno track I think the final result turned out really dope so let me know what you think about this one in the comments besides that if you like the video please drop a like hit that subscribe button and I see y'all in the next videos. This techno dream. We're ready to unite. Let's go.